ultimate team matchup and these guys on your screen ready to rock as well some of the stars of today's game and speaking of the game let's get right to it Here's the punter, Sam Martin, now ready to get us started. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. That's fielded in the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. take this one up over the 20 to the 21 yard line yeah, give him four yards there it'll be second and six tough running there that's a hard earn four yards yeah those are the unsung kind of runs they don't fill up the stat sheet but they do set you up in good position on second down back to throw he's got the hook up to Odell Beckham it's a gain of 11 yards that time and it produces a new set of downs Now they try the right side here. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Nice job by the defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. They'll drop the throw. And that'll be incomplete. The effort's always going to be there. Everyone's always going to try and make a catch, but underthrown balls, I think, are the toughest ones to come back and get because usually your momentum's going in the opposite direction when you're trying to stop, break, and come back and get it. On third down, that's Sanders. Give him eight yards on the carry, and that's going to bring up fourth down. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage enough. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. Aaron Donald getting in there from his defensive tackle spot to snow him under for a loss of four. And a great spot to start this drive from here. And he'll be knocked down sideways. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They want it at every position, and we just saw there some linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. And not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. Beckham will go in motion right. And he'll give it here to his running back, fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Give him three yards on the run there. That still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up. 
So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. Be taken in the end zone. <laughs> and he will be brought down here at about the 17 yard line. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points. So they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Now back to throw. Over the middle, Sharp's got it complete. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Now a play fake here on first down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the pro bowler, Anthony Barr. There he goes right side. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. And this defense looking like they have come to play the pick six. And just like that, it's 13-0 early on. Well, go back with me to our training camp visit. What do we hear during these drills? Oh, pass. pass. Ball. Ball's in the air. And then my favorite. Oski. That's the interception. <laughs> that means everybody finds someone to block. Block them legally. Stay on your feet. And they get it done. Touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a particularly good return here as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. For most people, the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder into ball carrier, and down he goes. Play clock winding down. They'll try and strike this drive in the air. Complete to Jones. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. 
We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way down to the 29. Back with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's Sacramento football here to begin the second. And they've got it here with a first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Throw left side, complete to Sharp. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. A great play there. Taking it in from 14 yards out. And his guys are able to make this a close game again. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. Yeah, that was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded at the goal line. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Steelers' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. They're starting to put some space here. You know, the first quarter, they didn't look so hot offensively. This second quarter, though, they've looked really good. They've jumped in the saddle in a big way now, and now they're in full gallop. I mean, before, <laughs> kind of cantering around a little bit, right, trying to feel their way, not getting done what they wanted to. But somehow they put it together with play calling, execution, and now there's a pretty big gap. And they'll look to make that gap even bigger here. They'll send Beckham in motion right. Now they'll run it on the toss. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Now they'll run it on the toss. And eventually taken down, but how about that athletic spin move we saw? Gives him the first down yardage. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Back to Heinz Field after this. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. A shotgun snap for Watson. Going right side here, and that's complete. The Steelers able to pick up 18 yards there. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. as they run left side. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. enough for the first and now we won't see a play on first down we're going to get a timeout instead as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half looking to jam the receivers at the line here press coverage look defensively they'll run it now out of the gun and the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line a loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Ohio. Let's go! Flex round! Flex round! Flex round! Off of play action, it's Watson. He'll buy some time right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position, couldn't hold on, third down. And the Steelers on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is going to be third and 13. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll go down at the 28. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And this will be a 45-yard attempt. And this one is right down Broadway. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Second and five. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. He lost four there, and it's third down. So statistically, both of these offenses having a rough time getting a running game going. But boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling him behind the line, but you're right, you look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game. Now he's good. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Champ Bailey. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Maybe he telegraphed it a little bit right there. You've got a cornerback knowing that he's going against a rookie quarterback. He stepped in and picked it. You think he had a great week of preparation, looking forward to this opportunity? And the second part of that is, when you're a young quarterback, you are going to stare down targets. 
but oftentimes your playbook hasn't expanded to give you full field reads as well. Makes it a little bit tougher for him. They'll try to get the ground game going with Freeman. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Again, they'll run with Freeman. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. It's a loss of two, now third down. Anthony Barr got a real education at UCLA in playing not just his normal position of stand-up outside linebacker, but down defensive end. So he had to incorporate a variety of moves, take on bigger people, to learn great leverage while he was there. That really helps him when he's trying to stop people running the ball. Born in South Bend, Indiana. Thought about going back to go to Notre Dame, but you're right, great career at UCLA and now a great career in the NFL. And Zerline's kick is good. And they're back within a touchdown. It's 17-10. to A decent drive there to start the third quarter. They only salvaged three out of it, but they do inch a bit closer. Yeah, still lots of time to go in this one, take the points, move on, and let your defense try to get the ball back. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Now they'll run it on the taunts. And he'll be taken down, losing yardage back at the nine-yard line. That'll go as a loss of five. And that'll bring up a third down and very long. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he will lose yardage here back to his own six. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. Here's Sam Martin now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And he's out of bounds, able to get it up right near the 25 to the 24. Officially, that'll be a 63-yard punt. Well done. And possession will switch hands first and 10. clock's running down. And now here's a carry heading left. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Time running out here on the play clock. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Over the middle to Beckham. 
And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. to throw now on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. And two tall Jones in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Looking to throw. That's complete to Sharp. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He finds Beckham complete. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Davis now and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down no gain on the play there second down so nothing there I don't know that that's all in the back though you got to look at blocking there don't you I would agree with that totally at some point they have to win at the point of attack instead it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain Back to the ground, this time with Freeman. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Aaron Donald in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. 20 yards on the pickup there. And that'll give him a first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. Oh, long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. They'll run it now out of the gun. Oh, no, he lost the football. Unfortunately, he's able to recover himself, but the clock's still rolling here. All I can say about this play is that someone's living right. I mean, he's trying to gain the yard. He's trying to get upfield. Ball comes free. What's that panic that we've talked about oftentimes that you feel when you yeah, lose the ball? You can sense it. Oh, you can sense it. And somehow he got to it and was able to recover it for his squad. So after nearly turning it over, new life here for the offense on second down. Back to throw. That is caught at the seven. 
And he is out of bounds, but not before taking this inside the 10 to the 7. 19 yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Now a handoff looking right. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. And the Steelers signal for another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. This is turning into a bit of a death march here, the 13th play of this drive. Catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. And this seemingly endless drive continues. the three third down and goal they run Devontae Freeman only a yard there so it brings up fourth and goal Brandon it's easy to make decisions from right up here where we are right in the cheap seats but let's be frank about this one this isn't even a decision as far as I'm concerned they have to go for it here field goal does you almost no good as time's running out in the game if you want to win you have to be aggressive here they'll run for it it's Freeman and yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. So getting the big touchdown they needed late in the fourth. Now what do you do? You conservative and just tie it up? No, I think you put your practice into game situation. Go as fast as possible. You already have your play call ready to go. Go for two and decide it right now. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play, but if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is it just off just by a bit? And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Night Train Lane. And they will be set 